We are lucky today. We have with us Cliff Plumer, CEO of The Void, who are leading the way for large-scale play and adventure in immersive worlds. With their legendary Ghostbusters and Star Wars experiences, among others. Please join me in giving an incredibly warm welcome to Cliff Plumer! Air horn, air horn! All right. Cliff. Hey, man. Hey, all right. Here's your Thank clicker, you. sir. All right. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. May the fourth be with you. We're in an immersive business. Thrilled to be back here at VRLA. Um, much of my career had been in the film industry, and in 2012, I kind of started my, my VR journey. Um, Brendan Irabe, a friend of mine, called me early in 2012, and he said, I want to show you something. And he showed me this crazy device, and I tried it on, and, and I was immediately sold that this, there was a lot of potential here. Now, he came from the gaming in industry, I came from the film industry, I wanted to really explore how do you tell stories in this new medium. So I got together with some friends from the film industry and the visual effects industry, and we started exploring creating short VR films. Well, I thought I was doing VR until I heard about The Void in Utah. So I, I went out there, it was probably two and a half years ago, um, was, was blown away with what I saw at a very, very early stage. This is the potential of VR. It's not just what I can see in 360 degrees or ambisonic audio. It's a world that I can interact with, and I can interact with characters in that world. I can touch things. I can feel things like heat, cold, moisture, wind. I can feel haptics in my vest, and I can even smell things. But most importantly, it, it, it was a social experience. I could do it with family and friends. And for any new medium to get a penetration, it has to be social. So we launched Ghostbusters oh, almost two years ago. You know, a lot of fun being a Ghostbuster capturing ghosts. The end of last year, we launched Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. It was a lot of fun to work with my old colleagues at Lucasfilm and ILMX Lab, but it was even more fun bringing this to market. I had been wanting to step into a Star Wars movie for as long as I could remember, and I think getting to see that and touch that and feel that really put me in that film unlike anything else ever has. And I, it, was, it was a dream come true, really. If you ever really want to be in Star Wars, The Void is where you're going to go to do that. This is by far the greatest thing I've ever experienced. It is something no arcade could ever replicate. I'd like convince myself that, remember, I'm just in a room, okay. that I'm not going to fall. Do you want to be in Star Wars? Do you yeah. want to be part of the Rebels? Do you want to save the galaxy? Okay, cool, come with us. Because we're going again. It was just fascinating. It was awesome. I'm, I'm in Star Wars. From the minute you walk in and you have the briefing from Captain Cassian, it's like you're in Rogue One. The moment when we picked up our blasters, yeah, okay. and then the guy that we were with accidentally fired his, <laughs> and, 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 and so then all the alarms went off, and we're like, oh my god! <laughs> it brought me to emotional tears. Buckle in, get your armor ready, because it's time to fight for the Rebel cause. When we were, thank you. Um, when we were in production on Secrets of the Empire, we were going through the Disney Accelerator program, and we got to really see all the different groups within the Walt Disney Company. But what was most valuable was working with the team at Disney Imagineering and the team at Disney Parks. We, we learned a lot about creating a full experience. It's not just what happens in the virtual world. So when we build out a new location, we're looking for our cast members, our staff are all part of the experience. And as they work with guests, we want to make that the full experience from the moment you hear about the void to you go through the experience. So when we staff our locations, they're our ambassadors. They represent our brand. They represent the IP. They're part of the experience. Again, it's not just what we create in the virtual world. So we've put a lot of work into this and we learned a lot working from you know, our friends at Disney. Um, so we're always looking at how to make the experiences better. So there's a lot of data that we get from our guests that go through the experience. So 
we're, we're still very much in our infancy. So again, how do we keep improving upon our experiences? So we get a lot of data from our, from our guests. So when we think about the void experience, we talk a lot internally about the entire customer journey. You know, so the moment someone hears about the void, how do they buy a ticket? How do they go to a void location? How do we maximize and create the best experience for them when they come to the void? Um, how can they get other product when they're at the void? And then even when they're not at the void, how we keep them engaged in our community and build our audience. So again, we have a lot more to our, our offering rather than just what's in the virtual world. So everything from how they can stay engaged via mobile. Um, we sell merchandise at all of our locations. I know it's been a struggle in the VR industry to find um, you know, an economic model. You know, we, we have one. Again, we're selling tickets. There's thousands of guests going to a void location every single day. And we want to keep maximizing being able to offer them more product. So whether it's merchandise, photographs, digital goods. So these are all things we're learning. And again, we're learning from our guests. So things that we can do to improve our product or things they're looking from us is, is just enhancing our business. And again, it's about building a community. So very active on social media of what people are, are saying about our experience. You know, how do we keep them engaged in what we're doing you know, in our roadmap? And then obviously our guests become our biggest advocates. You know, this is how we grow our audience. So we, we spend a lot of time really trying to promote people's stories as they go through the void. So as a business, it's about scaling our network, scaling our locations, uh, scaling our audience. When we look at expanding to different locations, it's not just about, hey, we have to be in every major market. We spend a lot of time thinking about specific types of locations. So whether it's a tourism location, a theme park, a shopping mall, a movie theater chain, airports. I mean, we're looking at all these different types of locations. I'm from New York. New Yorkers don't go to Times Square. Tourists go to Times Square. But how do we tap into that local market as well? Because in tourist locations, we'll get a lot of steady flow, but they're the one-time users. How do we get those repeat users? So we're always looking at those types of locations. This is an image from um, uh, Westfield Mall in Shepherd's Bush in London. We, we did a pop-up. So when we launched uh, Star Wars Secrets of the Empire in December, we worked with Westfield in creating a, a void pop-up right in the atrium of that mall. This is one of the busiest malls in London. So our assumptions was if we can get a small convergence of, of that steady audience coming to the void, we're a big success. Over 70% of the guests that have gone through that location, first time they've been to that mall. That was a shock to us. Obviously, Westfield loved that because we were bringing them a new audience. So again, we're just constantly learning how people are reacting to this new experience. And by doing this, we also get to test our product in locations. So you know, we have another one right now in the other side of London. So this is a big part of our, our strategy. We just opened up in the Grand Canals in the Venetian in Las Vegas just last week. Um, again, we learned something new in every market that we go into. And we got Elvis to go through, so that was exciting. So we really look at our locations as multi-experience, you know, an opportunity for our guests to not only experience you know, what we're able to create, but things they can take away with them as well. So at our locations, we run multiple experiences. It's not just Ghostbusters and Star Wars, but we have a lot that we continue to develop and learn. I want to talk about experiences. That's what we create. We don't think of ourselves as just a VR company. We create experiences, and we're learning a lot from um, just consumer trends out there. So we look at things like immersive theater and escape rooms and, and things that are very popular right now and how we can help service that market. I know we've all been struggling with consumer adoption for in the home, but we're seeing consumers want to go and find and, and experience new experiences. That, that's what we do at The Void, and we're going to continue to do that. Thank you.